you brought on that cliffhanger on the last episode. You get to bring us back in. Hell yeah, motherfucker. That was it. The cube thing I was talking about, where every time you bit down on it, it would use, like, the thing would say something. Like, <laughs> like a little thing. <laughs> like inside your it? mouth. It was like, hell yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> really? Yeah. All I knew is that you, I said, hell yeah, motherfucker, and you're like, that's it. I'm That's like, it. is that the intro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the cubes say every time you crush them between your teeth. Oh, that's so cruel. What awful. a fate. What Terrible. A fate. What an awful fate. Okay. That seems like a pretty good intro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so sorry we dropped you off on a cliffhanger in the last episode. Uh, Blake gave me no choice. I did. No, I offered... you didn't. You cried like a baby when I said, that can't be the end. And, and you sobbed and you said, quit taking my agency away from me. I sat back and I crossed my arms. And then I released a cloud of poison. <laughs> <laughs> poisonous a, cloud a paralyzing agent so i took control and i ended the, <laughs> the episode i exuded my last bit of poison and now i'm basically just a baby i'm a useless like like defenseless baby now so thanks a lot for using the rest of my poisoning agent yeah On that note. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so we just got him on... We, we got we got Simon. We got him. All right, that's it. Yeah, so... Let's talk to Emma. <laughs> so do you know that your, your partner is, like, killing people for funsies? Yeah, he thought it'd be funny to, like, help some girl. He's like, hey, there's, there's a load of drugs in here, and I know that you use drugs. Here's all of them. Have fun. At once. All at once. <laughs> That's you know what a <laughs> good. good. Double trouble. An atlas. Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens though. <laughs> anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they bid to Simon to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals and you can't help both at Atlas. Mm. Hmm. He tries very hard not to have morals. He really does. He's really trying. Give, <laughs> give him credit, Emma. I know. Um. Okay. So apparently, it's very competitive at Atlas, and if you're like winning, then everybody everybody else loses. Wait, like, Do nobody think... else gets to graduate? Well, no, 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 like, the prime candidate is here. Do you know what a prime candidate is Thanks. at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. It's the and one. A great high-paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. So they're all there competing for that. But it's Somebody not... was jealous of Kate because she was best student. Was she the best student? Yeah. Who, like, who said that? Oh, I think it was Simon. Because he was the only other person we talked to about that student stuff. Yeah. Okay, so if she was best student and So he, do you think Simon set her up? I'm wondering, because he may have been jealous mm -hmm. and tried to, like, get her offed. Or, like, found out with opiates. Yeah. Get her kicked out. Yeah, oh yeah, true. Hmm... Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay. And we gotta talk to some other people first. I think there are some people we haven't even talked to about the puppy pods. <laughs> what? Are you talking about the puppy pods? Oh, these puppy pods? <laughs> My puppy pods. Don't forget. Don't Rachel. forget to take your puppy pods. Don't Rachel! Rachel! If you don't mind. Puppy pods. Okay, well, yeah, we already got on that. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um, it's the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. 
What happens then? Hmm. They get sacked. <laughs> By sacked, do you mean killed? <laughs> I'm wondering. We also got sacked. Meaning we had a sack put on our head. Oh. Oh. Um, so like, why have that if it isn't going to be like a promise? And why would the students fight for it if everybody knows that it's just a fraud? Right. That's very weird. Even, um, what's her face? Emma. She knew that it wasn't real. And yeah. she wasn't even like a student student there. She's kind of peripheral. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Probably be back later. I like how we had our one scene at the kitchen. That's all, the, or not the, the kitchen, the restaurant. That's all the restaurant was for. Was <laughs> a scene a couple more questions, if that's where okay. Ryan gets slapped by his wife and he gets a boner. It was pretty great, though. It was very worth it. Hello about poppy pods. Poppy pods. Poppy, poppy pods? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, Hello. yes. Thank you. <clears throat> well, he's over 70, so he's been buying them from James. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so I don't like how he says mean that. To be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. Just business, Inspector. I'm sure there's like a commission. And also, yeah. since the original thing from James was like, oh, they're brainwashing them and then making them into <laughs> slaves to sell on the black market. I'm wondering Do you if think this that is, that's where they're going? I'm wondering if this is just like This is a cover. Yeah, if it's a cover for like this. Oh. And maybe Kate just plain didn't have what it took and she was killed and just like because she knew too much at that point. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Because, yeah, we've like, we haven't even talked about any of like the crazy, like international conspiracy in a very right. long time. Yeah. But, yeah. Because that was brought up once and nobody else has said anything else about it. Like, that was such a big thing. That was like in the first third of the game and then never talked about it again. Yeah. Did she get no? I thought maybe she got the code from him. Um. So what was the most recent thing? The Atlas Prime thing. Yeah. Because I don't think there's any contradictions in that because it's he was like, oh yeah, we're teaching everybody to be cutthroat. I mean, yeah. Because it all tracks. I don't know. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Listen, I'm just trying to play this game. I'm trying I'm to be here. good. I want to win. We only got one hour left. We do only have one hour left. This, this bitch isn't back at the house already. It's getting late. She isn't home yet. Um, if this doesn't work, she's I definitely totally... dead at the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in pieces. No questions, please. Yeah, big rips. Um, something that I forgot existed okay. is that we have the chief that we can call, I think, still. Yeah, well, I guess. Because I'm not exactly sure what our next lead is. Listen, we don't fucking need him. You know what? Sure. Stop pressing those buttons right now, Mr. James. I slap his hand away. And you're a strong, independent detective, and you don't need it, your chief. Hello. No wow. It's really past his Betty by time. It really is. Wow. He says it's past ten. Everything that happens is not my responsibility from <laughs> or this point my forward. business. <laughs> yeah, or my business. <laughs> I do not give a damn anymore. I do not care and I do not want to know. <laughs> uh, it's my buddy by time and I've had my warm if it, milk. If it happened during my buddy by time, I don't want to hear about it in the morning. I've got my blankie. I've got my bib. I've got my cookie. <laughs> go go away. I've got my warm milk. Yes, I've got my milkies. <clears throat> Thank 
you. Probably be back later. I can't think of any good contradictions with her because I like I said, I legitimately think she doesn't know half of the shit. Yeah. I feel like she's mostly just been a really helpful uh, character in getting more information on yeah. Ryan and what to Oops. ask Ryan. Right. No, God, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check here. Yeah. Like, listen, we only got one hour left. There's only so much time left to fit in one more woodland shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. One more rando we see in the woods. Who, yeah. Like, accosts us in some way. <gasps> I told you! God, I told you! Movement. Are you fucking shitting me? Who's it gonna be? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Just keep pushing. Keep oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Push it all the way in, Tom, if you oh want. no! No! <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. <clears throat> Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, oh, he huh? doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? A test. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. <laughs> you know, it's duh. Test. Everybody does this I at 23. Know. You were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector Jenks. Oh, is this Kyle? And so this would be for... The Rude Oh, kid. yeah. Kyle. Here we go. You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do you want me to make you? It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rush commitments. Oh, he's angry man. <laughs> what an angry little... He's so proud of himself. He's such a smug bastard. I hate him. <laughs> Whoops. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. We're gonna go steal his car. Keys, Kyle? No. How does he so know what it's to? Testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. Hmm. See what I can do with this key fob first. Key. I wonder if we look at Simon's hand, if we'll see like a little mark in his hand. Well, I mean, it's just like I don't think it's a specific thing that they need to do. Mm -hmm. They're just pushing their limits. Doesn't mean that he also stuck a skewer through his hand. Oh. In the middle of the woods, I click it and you hear boop, beep, boop. beep. <laughs> <laughs> Way off, right yeah. between like four trees. Like, how did you get here? I'm trying to think of where I could possibly use this. Because we already got the uh garage door opener um for ryan's uh secret guitar stash because that was for the garage this one is it seems to be for a specific for car a vehicle but okay but oh there's the vehicle. only one vehicle we've seen mm -hmm. and it's paul's yeah why the fuck would they have paul's i'm wondering car thing? that's weird i'm wondering if that was actually ryan's car because Ah, no. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, we're not gonna ask him about that. Oh, yeah, we should ask oh, him about Oh, we this. didn't ask him about the... What? Poppy oh, and we the... didn't talk to Ryan about it. I was thinking of Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or Say it, Ryan. Poppy pods. Yeah! yeah! God, I love this game. <laughs> you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reaction. He's like, oh, no follow-up? Uh, 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 um, oh, shit. <laughs> now, He's second-guessing himself. What a prime candidate is. You're learning that little face! <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students. The ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well... 
we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems what does that a mean? Top job? Why does he keep saying that like that? Who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever say ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. no Simon he was on Thompson, Kate's side. Yeah, really mm -hmm. isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I uh, more than I. I think it was jealous. Her. That's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide. Huh. I think he's kind of excited about the concept of somebody else taking, taking the, the blame. Taking the blame. Yeah. I, I really think that's how it happened, though. I think Simon accidentally caused Kate's death. And I think that... Um, I almost said Jake. What the fuck is his name? Ryan? Uh... Ryan, I think you're right. I think Ryan was kind of on her side. Yeah. Like she was a top student. She was kind of She's teacher's like pet. Kind of being groomed to be top student so that she can be sold on the black market as right. a brainwashed person. However, and somebody killed his top student. Yeah, and he's pissed at Simon now. And Simon might be the next target. So it might end up being <sighs> uh, we have to save Simon. Situation. Maybe, yeah. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. Because either that or Simon's next to be groomed to be top student so that he'll be sold. Right. The music got so sinister. I'm so into this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see where this goes. We're real detectives. We're solving the case. I told you I'd be something, Mom. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. so... It's time to. I literally just had a thought and it went away as fast as it Good came. Good God. <laughs> it's time, okay, to time to. Go to the car. Go to the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, f the, the thought flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Random XD. There we go. <laughs> that little nod, like, ah, oh, got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It only took me four tries. <laughs> that freaks me out looking at that. I know. That's wrong. That's incorrect. I'm like, where's the steering wheel? Does he drive it with his mind? <laughs> hmm. Oh? It's a check. Blank Bingo. check. Fuck yeah. Well, okay, fine. Okay, fine. What have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Okay. Is that like a scholarship that she was going to earn? Why can't he just close it like a normal person? Well, he didn't want anybody to hear him like slamming this door shut. Oh, yeah. I was like, why is he being so weird all the time? <laughs> why is he such a baby? <laughs> I'm looking at a check for $500 intended for Kate. The club. So he was going to pay Kate $500 for drugs? I guess so. Um, hmm. Ask about a few more things, please. Yeah, what's up with this? Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds. I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. I want I'll money. give you $500 if you slap me. <laughs> I mean, who knows? <laughs> At this point, this guy is obviously happen. a freak. We just don't know how far the depravity goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's super true. Wait, wasn't the girl who thought that everything was like demonic was mm -hmm. blonde? Okay. Yeah. 
You think he was like... She never said anything about, like, oh, the owners are creeps. It was always just, like, they're the worshipping the devil. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we're ever going to see her again. Yeah. Like, that was such a weird interaction to have for somebody <laughs> that we're never going to fucking see again. I think that was just a hit and run. She's out of here now. Yeah. Like, we had another cut scene. Something else happened. So what if... Yeah. I, I like, I don't know it, when we're going to trigger it again. Can we talk to Rachel about the thing? Because I wonder what yeah. she's going to say about her husband offering that amount mm. of money to a student. Because mm -hmm. I feel like that's weird. Rachel! Questions, please. He's paying her to take his class. Okay. Best not, not to ask Rebecca about the money for care. <laughs> hmm. okay. on, I don't want to ruin his life yet. <laughs> To wait for the right time to ruin his life. <laughs> we gotta make it as juicy as possible. <laughs> you're, you're gonna go to the inspector and say, Do I have the tea for you? <laughs> <laughs> Buckle Sis, up, buttercups. I got some tea. <laughs> to spill all over this. Wig snatched. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you. What's up, sisters? <laughs> um, okay. Alright. Thank you. Probably be back later. I regret so... to inform you, sisters. A murder has been committed. <laughs> Narrated by James Charles. <laughs> Just like he has like a cheerful opening. He's like, hi sisters. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I've got some tea for you today. <laughs> I've got some tea. And, and blood in a vial. But first, my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody oh. watching this is a James Charles stan, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I have our address and there's a, like a red dot that shows up on my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just sniped on the spot. I kind of want to go back to the mirror room. Yeah, not, not like I feel anything. like... Thank you. It's just like I just want to see what it looks like again. Yeah, like, oh, just, there's gonna be something else. I there. just want to live here. Yeah, kind of. He's running up those stairs. He's so excited to see the mirror room. He did go up those fast, huh? <laughs> he sprinted at them. <gasps> <laughs> Gotta see that big mirror. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, whoo. Okay. Ooh. Well, let's go back downstairs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I saw a crescent moon. I can finally go to sleep. Yeah, okay. Runs back down the stairs. Ryan! <laughs> I saw the big mirror again! There's a big moon! We haven't been in here in a while. Mm, yep. Mm. Still ugly. <laughs> sure is a chair. Didn't we come here to talk to Ryan? Or did we already talk to him? Yeah, but like we already okay. I think we've talked to everybody about everything. Okay. We're missing something. Something. What time is it? Uh, it's it's eleven o'clock. Okay. Oh, did we talk to him? Can we talk to him about the check? Oh, did? Oh, you're right. It. Uh, is it like the the door thing though, where he's not? No, he is gonna ask about it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? Five hundred pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I <laughs> fell out of your car. Wow. <laughs> I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate five hundred pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive. That's all. Just a little incentive. Not very oh my God! Ryan. To what? Five hundred pounds. She was a. Uh, to suck his dick. <laughs> we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. 
Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Just say it, Ryan. You're creepy. I know, right? You um, you and your dad have a story with every single woman in this town. Literally. I like how it's in quotations, a little incentive for Kate. <laughs> Ryan even married a woman. <laughs> There's something going on here. <laughs> what a fucking pervert. <laughs> if you like them so much, why don't you marry one? <laughs> I will. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> The town collectively, ew. <laughs> <laughs> um. Mm. Okay, so maybe it wasn't a sex thing. Had heard Kate wanted to leave Atlas, so was he oh. trying to pay her five hundred dollars to stay? Uh oh. Wait, can we go up to like Kate information? Yeah, we got a Kate information. Yeah. <laughs> the Kate file. Yeah. <laughs> um. Kate enjoyed the course and seemed happy. Hmm. Enjoying the course and had no detectable problems. Needed incentive. But heard she wanted to leave. Fuck. Really? Okay, that's okay. stupid. Yeah, that one seemed like pretty clear cut. Yeah. Um. Incentive. Incentive for what? I still... I. Th I agree with that. I think that it was incentive to stay. Because I think that maybe um, one of the other uh, players, characters, whatever. Um, Who cares? One of the other people, i.e. Simon, uh -huh. was trying to get her to leave by like maybe harassing her or something like that. Okay. So that he can be top student. Yeah. And maybe this was incentive for her to stay despite the harassment. So Simon had to resort to killing her. <laughs> oh, God. Um, maybe. I don't know. That's kind of a... Mm, not much of a stretch. Is there anything that could possibly be... a contradiction? I know you're looking at it. I, I am looking <laughs> at it. Give me the answers. I'm trying to figure out, like, if this makes sense or not. I want answers and I want them now. Can we look at the more... Um, Atlas Auto Hypnosis. Okay. There's something in there that's pretty fucking obvious now that I read it. Oh, okay. Uh. Read them out loud one by one. Okay, claims auto hypnosis is not a major part of the course. Students aren't coerced or bribed. Yeah. I don't know how we would have seen that right. there in that section because that wasn't really on the on the noggin. Uh -huh. So, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the five hundred pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really didn't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive. That's all. A little encouragement. So, how often do you? Just a little use bribe. Incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment. We have to assess students as they progress. We we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. People pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment. Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? The threshold testing? Mm -hmm. For like, um... Like just testing their limits? Yeah. And it sounds like it's, it's not just physical, it's also mental. Yeah. I think it just depends on the student. Um, okay. That didn't give me any new things, so unless I need to know. Oh, go back to... So students aren't tested. Back okay. at the prime candidates. Students aren't tested. Okay. 
Ryan, you fucking idiot. You absolute uh -huh. moron. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why was she... Only the ones named she Kate. being tested because... He's been because mad. to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So, Kate... Oh, my God! <laughs> that was such yes. a big splash! And did you ask Simon... There's nothing left in this glass. Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. I've never done anything wrong in my life. His own hand. We had nothing to do with it. That's oh a hell of a my confession. god, we're going to die. So, oh, I thought it ended at midnight. Still no suspect. What? Unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death. But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. I think it means that this is the final chapter. Okay. Like, we don't go to a 1 p.m. Like, this is where it's solved. Yeah, okay. The music got so intense. It did. I'm really scared that there's. Are you be back something... at your house? Because if you're not, I'm never seeing you again. Okay. <laughs> it's one done. All right. Bye. I'm interested in how late uh, Paul stays up. A few more questions, please. Thank you. All right. It was Kate? Prime candidate. Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's Weak. much better to let them just <laughs> work it out among themselves. It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should <laughs> be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. <laughs> he threw in that last one just as a bone. Yeah. Okay, they just don't get involved in testing. They don't use threshold testing. Students not encouraged to hurt each other. Okay. If we can't find anything here, I kind of want to talk to Simon next. Yeah. So I feel like he might crack and tell us something big. I feel like, I feel like there's got to be a contradiction for the threshold testing one. Mm. But yeah, let's go and talk to some other people first. Rachel, I'm sorry. I have to say it every time. every time. Did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. She has no questions about that? <laughs> she okay. has no brain cells either. So <laughs> it's midnight. She's had a long day working at the bar. <laughs> that, like, really, like, blank look in her eyes. I'm just like, God, I'm We've late. all been there. Anybody works in customer service? Literally. I just smelled so many nasty men. <laughs> and I just, I just want to go home. Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen just because she was, you know, Kate. You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about our birth. Um, didn't, Kate dis didn't discuss the Atlas course. That feels that, weird. Yeah, that one doesn't feel right. I thought she was out of lies, but here she is again. <laughs> back at it. Well, I don't know. 
Oh. <laughs> the argument was about Ryan, but not Atlas. True. <laughs> True. Uh, that's it for the time Simon! Oh, Simon. How do you think you'd have reacted? So I how did you kill Kate? Had been chosen <laughs> to be prime candidate. Is that... Was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. She's a bit flaky, to be honest. It's just not really prime candidate. Yeah, and honestly, she kind of smelled and... <laughs> <laughs> she never brushed her teeth. She had ear nobody... er, earwax dripping out of her ears. Yeah, nobody liked her. <laughs> really. Her mom came over sometimes. Thank you. Probably be back later. So he had nothing to say about that, actually. Yeah. That was the opposite of interesting. <laughs> Simon. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I go back to the, the, the Ryan world. The Ryan world. <laughs> Gotta check the woods one more time. TRW. I am so scared. <laughs> Anything can happen in these woods. Literally. They're still out there at midnight, and it looks like it's, like, 8 p.m. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it looks like- I was actually gonna mention this earlier, but I totally forgot I was saying it. The way how it it shows night, it doesn't look like night. It looks no. like maybe like 7 p.m. on a cloudy night. Right. It's just a different world in, in England. I guess so. It is very close to the sun. <laughs> 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 it's, it's way up there. It's always brighter over there. So sun. much closer. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. Is he in his mirror room? Oh, maybe? He's been caught. I don't fucking know anymore. And he's having a mental breakdown in his mirror room. It's after midnight. I don't know what the fuck's going on. He could on. be doing anything. Why the hell can't we go to bed? It's midnight. Ooh. I feel like it looks different. No. Okay, never mind. You're just so entranced by it every time. That... <laughs> it's like would... a new spiritual experience for you. <laughs> Remember when we were really young and there were... What? Oh, that's the other room. I thought that was the, uh, the room with Ryan in it. Um, when we were really the little, room. there were little um, plastic glow-in-the-dark yeah. stars and stuff. We would tape onto the, like, the top of like the... Um, things that we'd look at <laughs> yeah and it was cool <laughs> <laughs> i really like that little story you just told i think i'm gonna have to knock out that sometime was fun. soon because i tap out i'm because i'm i am knocking out yeah and i am tapping okay we interrogate one more well, person and then I'll pass No, I don't away. think there is any. I was going to say, I don't think there is anything to interrogate anybody okay. about at this point. So I'm just going to go back here. There's nothing to interrogate anymore. We can't interrogate anything. Can you believe it? <laughs> we can date almost anything, but we can't interrogate almost anything. Deep cuts. <laughs> All right. So I think, I mean, we're at the end. Yeah. We're very clearly at the very end. I mean... It's midnight. We're gonna die at any minute now. Because <laughs> apparently that's how this game ends. <laughs> Jenks' Jenks last moments on Earth. <laughs> He's la his dying breath. We gotta watch this man die before Perish. your very eyes. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna unravel this mystery next time. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion of Jinx's life. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>